Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the North Street 14 liter commuter micro pannier. When it comes to cycling panniers, most people picture bulky bags stuffed with food and gear for multi-day trips. The North Street commuter micro pannier that we have here sheds that image with a compact 14 liter capacity and easy attachment design. In terms of packaging, you can see you just get the bag, essentially comes in a box, so really simple. So we'll go ahead and go over the specs. Retail price on this is $100, and they have a $15 shoulder strap, which is two inches wide. This has a 14 liter capacity, so it's more compact and it's designed for either trail riding or commuting. These are made in the USA in Portland, which is really impressive. And they, this one has the hook and bungee system, but they do have another variation for adventure riding, which has a Velcro design. You have a highly water resistant design, so the fabric itself is water resistant, while the seams and zippers are not watertight. So you get a little balance between water resistance and weight. This is 18 inches by nine by five, so very compact, and something you can easily take into the office when you're done riding. As far as what comes with it, obviously you just get the bag itself. The hooks are pre-installed, and it's ready to simply attach your bike and start riding. North Street has designed the Commuter Pro Pannier to be a compact and portable solution for bikepacking or commuting. At only 14 liters, this is one of the smallest panniers North Street offers, and it has a streamlined hook and bungee system to quickly be attached or removed from a bike rack. North Street currently offers this in six different color schemes. You have darker colors like black and navy to brighter options like red and high-vis orange. We have the EPX Rust color here. And you can see it's a, almost a cherry red with this nice sheen to it. That really looks great on camera and on a bike. It has this mesh overlay, which looks really cool. So you can see this mesh pattern on top. That extends all the way around. It's part of the actual fabric. These straps and some of the attachments are all black, regardless of which color you pick. So you get a nice little bit of a contrast. And almost no branding. The only visible tag here is the North Street tag on the bottom side, along with American flag to indicate this is actually made in the US. With this commuter version, North Street has incorporated the hook and bungee attachment system. So you can see two metal hooks that are just bolted onto the bag with this rubber coating. You can get these in different sizes. The standard one comes in a nine millimeter hook. Then you have a 12 and a half millimeter or optional 19 millimeter. We've actually swapped this out for the 12 and a half millimeter version. So you want to make sure you measure your rack before you purchase. You can see the two hooks are on top and then you have the bungee cord here. So you can actually wrap this around your bike rack. So this will hold in place on top and then the bungee cord will prevent it from flopping around. They do have an adventure variation of this that swaps these out for Velcro, which is a little bit more secure if you're doing a lot of gravel riding. You can see there's also additional hooks here so you can attach other items here or wrap this around in whatever fashion you need. There's an optional $15 shoulder strap. So you can see two inches wide and you have these swivel mounts that simply clip on. You can attach these to the little D-rings on the edges and then actually carry the bag on your shoulder. So really convenient and it gives it that messenger bag style feel. So if you're running into the office or grocery store, you can just put this on your back and then put things in there really conveniently. So a nice portable way to use a bag on or off the bike. And you also have a little handle on top so you can easily carry this in. As far as the inside of the bag, you can see you have two storage solutions. You have that external zipper. And you can see although these look waterproof, it's not actually a fully waterproof zipper. This gives you a nice large internal pocket, external pocket so you can easily access things. And then you have this wrap top this roll up top with the plastic buckle and adjustable tension so you can open this up to carry larger items and then loosen this to secure it in place. Inside the bag you can see you have a nice big opening. There's an additional pocket here which may be hard to see on camera but there's a little mesh pocket on the inside and that's great for securing smaller items and then otherwise nice big opening on the inside. You can see it's this lighter white color and you actually see the mesh fabric running through. And what's great about this, the lighter color helps you see inside it. So if this is all black, it'd be very hard to see. 
You can also see that the back plate here is actually reinforced, which is a nice feature. So this doesn't flex as much and it holds it against the bike and provides a little bit of extra structure that you normally don't get with a simple fabric bag. Here you can see the bag installed on our Troxxas Lynx e-bike. Fits really well on the rear rack and you can see with the compact size, it really doesn't take up that much space. You have a nice external pocket, then the internal pockets with that roll up top design with the simple D strap that secures everything in place. You can even put larger items in here if they leave the top open. As you can see, pulling on and off is very easy. You just have to slide it upward. And it is very secure with these rubber coated hooks. And then you have that bungee, which actually prevents it from bouncing around. So a really nice system. And you can also use that optional side strap to wear it inside the office. Put it back on, you can see it just slides right on. Then you have to go behind it to prevent it from bouncing around by using a bungee cord and wrap it around one of the internal structures. Inside, you can see fairly small, so you can't put bigger items in there, but it feels well made, and then you just roll the top up, and that keeps the water and debris out of it. So a nice setup and great for commuting or cycling to work with. Now let's go over the pros and cons of the commuter micro pannier. What we like about it is you have a high quality construction. All the seams, fabric, and zippers really, really feel premium and durable for extended use. You also have easy to use attachment system with their hook and bungee system, so it just slides right onto your rack. And then you can use the bungee cord to stabilize it. You also have very convenient to access internal and external pockets. You have a nice zippered pocket on the outside, a mesh pocket on the inside, and a main internal opening. The main negative of this bag is that it's fairly small and only 14 liters. The actual opening is pretty limited, so you can't put larger laptop or bigger items in there, so you do have to be careful with that. Taking everything into account would give the bag a 9.0 out of 10. It's a nice compact commuting pannier. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.